My information is, and listen to me carefully, I know y'all record that these killings from the dready and the attempt on um, the, the, the attempt, two attempts uh, you had on two different persons on this one last night, my information is that they are all related. <laughs> Let me say that what obtains in the public service will never obtain in the teachers' union. And I'll tell you this. Recently I saw, and this is a matter of grave concern, I saw individuals promoted at the senior education sector. Individuals are promoted, and those positions were never advertised. Many times you have execution style, unfortunately, oh, he's a criminal, he's a drug man, you start with this, you start with that. Sending out a message that, hey, don't bother with the investigation, drug man, shoot drug man, and things like that. But whenever you're done, is a murder has been committed. Public Service Union has an obligation to block all of those promotions, every last one of them. The Public Service Commission has an obligation to its membership to take these matters to the court. If we don't stop the murders, other people are going to die. So saying a man, he's a drug man, or he's charged with this and that, you know, you send a message to the investigators, don't kill yourself, don't do no intensive investigation. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Let me say that what obtains in the public service will never obtain in the teachers union and i'll tell you this recently i saw and this is a matter of grave concern i saw individuals promoted at the senior education sector individuals are promoted and those positions were never advertised we have senior education officers appointed we have um other positions for which persons are appointed by the Public Service Commission. A lot of supersession. We don't know what criteria was used to promote these people. But they are promoted and it is hush, 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 hush. That will never happen under the watchful eyes of the Guy and Teachers Union. I believe the Public Service Union has an obligation to block all of those promotions, every last one of them. The Public Service Commission has an obligation to its membership to take these matters to the court. These positions were never advertised to give all the persons who are eligible to apply for those positions. And I understand there are several other appointments lying at the Public Service Commission to be executed. And the persons who have been slaving themselves out in the profession at the regional level, at the central ministry level, are not appointed. Now, how can this be fair? We are seeing senior assistant masters and mistresses. These are SAMs. They don't even have a senior status. To call them SMs or HODs or DHMs or HMs. These people are taken out of schools. They are, my, they are our educators. They are taken out of schools. And they are put to work at the Department of Education and at Central Ministry. And lo and behold, they are given appointments. 
what was the criteria used to appoint these people? Now, if we're talking about fairness and justice, that cannot be fair. And I want to use this opportunity to call on the leadership of the Public Service Union to take all of those matters that I highlighted, file an injunction right now against all that were previously recently promoted, every last one of them. Like they're saying, don't watch no face, buddy. Don't watch no face. File an injunction against everybody because all of them is complicit, allegedly, in this fraud, allegedly, that's going on. Something is wrong. How come people just get them promoted just so nobody know what's going on? Light exposing the whole situation. Y'all hear what's going on there? Y'all hear what's going on there? People getting victimized, buddy. People getting victimized in this place. Friends and family getting promoted in front of hard-working people. You know how much years them people sitting down there waiting and working hard. Working and waiting long for promotion. What's going on in GT, buddy? Please remember, if you didn't hit the like button, do that now. Show some love to this video. It's a small thing for you, but it's a great thing for us because it boosts this video in the algorithm and it brings it up in the timeline and on the page of like-minded persons that need to see this information. Thanks. We can't just sit by. We got to send this content out to everybody so that they can see it too and they could understand what's going on and how people get their victimized in GT. People can't go into this thing here, so year come year go year come year go generations now people getting victimized because of political affiliations allegedly allegedly and top cop slow is dropping it top cop slow is exposing what's going on with all of these drive by from coral up to dready to the other soldier will get shoot up in Tugville just a couple days after and he was in hospital critical is a lot of things going on and allegedly Top Cop Slow is saying look all of this is connected he's showing you how the needle and the thread bring the garment of this one right together and he's showing you who it fit as well if you're paying attention are you paying attention Top Cop Slow is paying attention. Let me listen what you got to say right now about this string of drive-bys that's going on in GT and how it's connected to Dreddy and how he was taken out on that fateful night. Let's hear right now and then you can get a chance to see some footage that came directly from the funeral day. One love. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet and make sure you get your return ticket to this flight you might miss the next takeoff. Hit the subscribe button and stay connected with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. I'll catch you in the next flight. I want to say to the authorities now, Minister of Affairs, Ropes and Ben, um, the National Security Advisor, because this thing has national um, this thing has a national security implication. The extended squatter, Blanham. Um, maybe even Nanlal and all these people. My information is, and listen to me carefully, I know y'all record that these killings from the Dreddy and the attempt on, um, the, the, the attempt, two attempts uh, you had on two different persons on this one last night, my information is that they are all related. That is the information I got. So I hope you understand. If I could get the information, I'm sure that you can get and get the, on top of it. Another execution style killing. And you know, it is sad because when these releases are made, I read a release from someone of the um, online news art thing, news sources, then news source, some one of the online news sources of, of a little while ago, that don't tell you that this man Rasputin, in other words, a paint Rasputin as a criminal, say he um, served time for, he, 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 stealing of some um, uh, vessel or vehicle or terrain vehicle or something like that 
and then they claim that he was arrested with drugs some time ago. So they done slanting it to tell you that look, this man must have had a criminal record because they actually said so. But what? So, so what they got to do with it? It's a murder, and the fact that he had a criminal record should not play into the diligence you exercise in investigating the murder. So let me understand. So you had that. And um, so let's wait to see. I am saying to you that these things are related. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. Many times you have execution style. I'm forcing it. Oh, he's a criminal. He's a drug man. You start with this. You start with that. Sending out a message that, hey, don't bother with the investigation. Drug man, shoot drug man, and things. But whenever you're done, it's a murder has been committed. And more people are going to die. Because if, you're not, if you don't stop the murderers, other people are going to die. So saying a man is a drug man or you're charged with this and that, you know, you send a message to the investigators, don't kill yourself, don't do no intensive investigation. I, I did a program with the FBI and I always like to refer to the FBI. I did management of that investigation. And I have a book here, it's I think 701 pages. And from the beginning and the inside, they give us what was our team. It is written by Arthur O.S. Weaver and it entitled a homicide investigator. And this is what they drill in our heads. And when I came back from there, this is what he's drilling my detective heads, especially dealing with homicide. And let me quote what he's what the drilling out from beginning to end. Let me go. No greater honor will be bestowed on an officer or a more profound duty imposed on him than when he's entrusted with the investigation of the death of a human being. It is his duty to find the facts, regardless of color or creed, without prejudice, and let no power not deter him from presenting these facts to the court without regards to personality. Let me repeat again. No greater honor will be bestowed will be bestowed on an officer or a more profound duty imposed on him than when he's entrusted with the investigation of the death of a human being. It is his duty to find the facts, regardless of color or creed, without prejudice, and let no poor nor deter him from presenting these facts to the court without regards to personality. And they're sending out the dog whistle. Don't bother with it. Jog man, kill jog man, execution style. But the killings will continue. They will continue. And getting back to, to CZ, you know, in Guyana, we're dealing with what we call a reasonable suspicion for we make an arrest you know we're supposed to look at the reasonable suspicion among other things when the states and and and, and which and i and i did a, a program in this in the states um legal issues for commanders legal issues for commando and and in the united states they they, they they're dealing with probable cause so so when they when they held caesar and detain him they didn't look at reasonable suspicion. They look at probable cause. So perhaps they have probable cause. That's why uh, maybe Paul, you were afraid to be there, 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 Caesar. Let's keep moving. We gotta move. 
A natural way to stay ready, baby, cause I'm ready for you, Mr. C. And so somebody has got to answer for contempt of court on the matter of no Jews being remitted in any region in Guyana for the month of March and the month of February, despite the court order. 